clearly the Fed chair has been in for a lot of criticism from the president who would actually like negative interest rates. How much do you keep an eye on rhetoric like that to try and maybe anticipate a move in stocks if there were to be an emergency cut or another 25 basis point rate cut or just even a higher possibility of one? Yeah, so we ignore it completely, okay. uh, thank God, because we don't know how to predict what's going to happen next, either in the markets or with interest rates. Uh, you know, that, that's a difficult back and forth. Me, me personally, I'm not rooting for negative interest rates. Uh, I think that is uh, kind of, I'm hoping, because I haven't found anyone who could explain it to me uh, satisfactorily uh, why that's a good thing and or why anyone should accept a negative interest rate other than that's all there is. And, you know, I'm hoping that's a bubble that that bursts uh, with, you know, certainly uh, foreign uh, government bonds. And, you know, I hope we never get there in the U.S. Probably wouldn't be a good sign. Just to kind of pick up on that, Joel, what do you make of ever-expanding deficits? I, government spending just going on and on and on. I appreciate this is, this is nothing to do with individual stock picking, but I'm just kind of curious as to your views. Yeah, you know, the way I look at it is I think it depends what we spend our money on. You know, if we, if we spend our money on things that, uh, you know, fighting poverty, uh, I think that's a long-term investment. And whether we run a deficit uh, helping people on that, I think long term there's a great payoff for that. So I, I really define, uh, I, I'd have to look at each uh, spending item to decide how to calculate whether that's a good thing for us or not. But generally, uh, you know, discipline would be helpful. Uh, the problem with running big deficits that even if you can't afford them when interest rates are low, if you don't know that interest rates are permanent, uh, it's going to be very expensive when things come back. So the problem with uh, getting into a negative interest rate uh, environment would be that, you know, people start spending money like drunk sailors because you can get the money for free. And then when interest rates go up, uh, you might not be able to afford to pay those payments uh, if, if there are positive interest rates. Uh, so, in fact, uh, to the extent that, uh, you know, the Fed or, or other national uh, 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 controls uh, in, in other countries, um, manipulate rates or even if they're powerful enough to manipulate rates down uh, and set unrealistic uh, short-term rates then you know that could affect how much we borrow we think we can borrow that money we think we can afford it and then all of a sudden rates go up for whatever reasons uh, inflation or otherwise and we won't be able to afford those and and they, they will uh, crowd out other important spending so you know, there's a lot of bad things about negative interest rates or super low interest rates, and it puts us in a trap to keep them there because we can't afford for them to yep. go up, and who knows if we can control them or not.